hooey <laughs> that it actually works. So the idea is that he would he would get a whole bunch of line out and he would be he would cast it and turn and bring it back this way and then bring it back this way and swooping the fly over close to the water. The idea being these trout see this bug going by, they're starting to get hungry and get anxious and then it finally lands on the water and bang they jump on it. Doesn't work, at least for anybody <laughs> I know. But it was it made for a great photo. And the kid, uh, the kid they got to do it for the movie? Jason Borger. Is that his name? Jason Borger. I don't remember. Jason Borger. He figured out how to do it. Yeah. I mean, it was astounding. So I, actually, uh, last year, uh, the Missoulian, or two years ago, did an article on uh, basically Norman McLean, and they asked me to come out and, and, uh, and guide them up to these spots. And they said, could you show us shadow cast? Well, you know, okay, well, you, just, you, know, you get a lot of line looping the stuff around. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's taking pictures. And I said, look, if, you, if you're going to put that picture in the paper, please make sure you say that this is a demonstration of shadow casting because otherwise people are going to say, he sucks. <laughs> 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 they put the picture in the paper and they didn't say it was shadow casting. And a lot of people say, I thought you knew how to fly that. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Over to part nine. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, in real life, this is the general area where this happened. Uh, you know, there's, I picked this because it's a good place to park the bus. Uh, but there's, there's actually a better spot a little further on, but in order to get to it, we would have to take the bus in pieces around it because it's a narrow little sharp corner with a boulder that uh, the last time something this big tried to come through here was a horse trailer. And, you know, they had to get welding torches and, and, and and coal chisels to get it free. So we're stopping here. There's a whole series of locales like this over about a three quarters of a mile area that could be where that actually took place, where where uh, Paul swam into the into the into the torrent like here, grabbed onto the rock with his left hand, and then scooped up with his elbows, climbed up, stood on it, shook like a dog, and then started his casting. So. It, this rock out in here could be any one of those or these up here, but the setting is spectacular. And this is, I'll read a section here that uh, describes that. So it, earlier, the first stop, we talked about they, they, had, uh, they didn't want to fish the canyon because these guys were rookies and they were going to get hurt. Well, we're kind of in the canyon, although there's no, it's canyony there and it gets canyon again over here. So this is the part of the river they're talking about. The canyon above the old Clearwater Bridge, by the way, it's right down here. We just almost recently turned onto this driveway. The canyon above the old Clearwater Bridge is where the Blackfoot roar is loudest. The backbone of a mountain would not break, so the mountain compresses the already powerful river into sound and spray before letting it pass. Here, of course, the road leaves the river. There was no place in the canyon for an Indian trail. Even in 1806, when Lewis left Clark to come up to Blackfoot, he skirted the canyon by a safe margin. It's no place for small fish or small fishermen. Even the roar adds power to the fish, or at least intimidates the fishermen. The trail, because this road we're on here, was a, an old road, road to an old homesteader's cabin. Uh, and it only goes up another third of a mile or so, and it ends. So even the Indians, when they, and the Indians go over anything, they didn't come this way. They actually turned up the Clearwater River at the bridge and headed inland, and then across Blanchard Flat, where we were earlier, and rejoining the river at our first stop.